Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. I know what you're thinking, what am I doing here on a Thursday? It is currently Thursday morning that I'm filming today's video. I actually just came home from the gym. I walked there, walked home, did upper body, got ready for the day and I had to sit down and film a video all about the new WW or Weight Watchers program coming soon. If you want me to spill the tea on the new WW program and you're excited about it, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on because I upload five videos every single week. Everything from grocery hauls, meal preps, recipe videos, what I eat in a day, lots of fantastic content here on my channel. So make sure your bell notification is turned on. Also, if you're new, welcome. I have lost 130 pounds. And again, I am a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I do follow the WW plan as well as macros and calories. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized macros, calories, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And don't forget, come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. So I have lots and lots and lots to share with you on the new WW program. So let's jump in. I want to thank D with Dish for D for helping me with today's video. She actually put a video, video out a couple of days ago about the new WW plan. We are friends here on YouTube and I talked to her a little bit more about the program. So the information from today's video is coming from that. So let's jump in. I have literally back to back notes on the new WW plan. So right now it's WW personal points. They actually just put this program out last November. So it's only been a year. And in normal WW Weight Watcher fashion, they change their program about every two years. But apparently there has been quite the upheaval quite the ruckus on the WW personal points program. People are leaving Weight Watchers in droves and their business. And if they don't have people paying their monthly fees, then they can't stay in business. They listened, they heard us and they're changing the program. It sounds like the program will be changing late November. That is not confirmed, but that is the speculation that late November, beginning of December, that's when we're going to see these changes. They're going to be simplifying the Weight Watcher program. When they switched to personal points, it was great. They gave us all the options in the world. I mean, we got to choose our zero point foods. We got to focus on the foods that we enjoy, but sometimes too much of a good thing is too much of a good thing. And it can become overwhelming, frustrating, and daunting for people when there's just too many choices. So they want to go back to basics, back to simplifying WW, simplifying Weight Watchers, and making it a pretty standardized program rather than more of a personal program. There's no new name yet for what's happening later in November. We've heard the word core thrown around, but like Dee said in her video, they believe that that's probably what the online only version is going to be called. So as of right now, we don't really, we don't have a name for the program, but Spoiler alert, it's very similar to the old blue program on WW. So here's the nitty gritty. Here's what is happening. Here are the changes. Number one is all zero point foods for everybody are going to be the same. So there is no more I have avocado, potatoes, rice, zero points, and you have not that Greek yogurt and oatmeal for zero points. All of the zero point foods are going to be the same for everyone. So like I said, very similar to the old blue program. So what are those zero point foods? What foods are going to fall on the zero point foods list? Now remember, these are the zero point foods that everybody will have. So those foods are non-starchy vegetables, fruit, poultry, meaning turkey, chicken, tofu, fish, non-fat Greek yogurt, and non-fat cottage cheese, eggs, beans, peas and corn, lentils, and popcorn. All of those foods are going to be zero points across the board. So what does that mean for some of the zero point foods that were on personal points? Things like avocados, oats, potatoes, and rice. Those are no longer zero point foods. Now, can you still eat those? 
absolutely, you're just going to have to count points for those. Those four foods in particular will no longer be zero points. One great thing about this change that's happening with Weight Watchers is a lot of the algorithm and the system is remaining the same. So your points will be based on you. They're going to be still based on your age, your weight, your height, and your gender. So not everybody is going to get the same points because we're not all the same people and we all require different food amounts daily. So the point algorithm is remaining the same. Again, that is based on your age, height, weight, and gender. How we figure out the points is the same. So all of those factors that play into a food's point value remains the same. So things like fat, saturated fat, sugar, protein, fiber, that is all staying the same. So like I said, the core of the program is the same. The way that the points are determined and how many points you're going to receive, that algorithm is exactly the same. Now, what about bonus points? Because on personal points, we were able to earn points back for vegetables and those points that we could earn were unlimited. I mean, we could eat all the vegetables in the world and earn lots of points back. We also received one point back for drinking at least 60 ounces of water every day. And we also could earn points back for activity. So on the new program, the only way to earn back points is for activity. There will no longer be points given for eating your vegetables and there will no longer be points given for drinking your water. From my personal perspective, as a weight loss and nutrition coach, I actually like this change with the exception of the water. I wish that we could still earn one point back for water because water is so important for weight loss and overall health. And I really believe that with personal points, people were drinking more water. That 60 ounces, that almost half a gallon every day, motivating to get that point back for drinking that. So I wish that they kept the water. I'm glad that they kept the activity, again, because activity is essential for overall health. And I'm glad they took away the points for eating vegetables because we shouldn't earn food for eating food, especially healthy food. We should be incorporating healthy food into our diet without any value in that healthy food. So I think removing the points for vegetables was a smart decision. I wish we still had the point for water, but no fear, you're still gonna get points for all the activity. And what's really exciting for a content creator, for a YouTuber, especially for somebody like me, is all of the recipes will be streamlined. So the points of the recipes are going to be the same again for everyone. For the last year, I have had to include the link on my website so that when you clicked it, it gave you your personal points. Now the points are going to be the same for everyone. So the points I share in my grocery hauls, the points I share in my recipes, they're all the same for everyone and I love that. It just makes it so much easier because you can see us create a recipe or see us create a meal and go, oh, that's the point value. That's the point for her, point value for her, that's the point value for me. So that is music to my ears. Like I said, we don't have an exact date when this new plan is going to roll out. However, they are going to keep personal points available to existing members until mid-December so that if you like personal points or you want a little bit more time to transition over to the new plan, the existing members will have the option to follow personal points or the new plan until mid-December. Come mid-December, personal points is no longer valid. Anybody who joins WW once the new plan is released will not have the option to follow personal points. It will simply be the new program. Your app will update automatically. And speaking of the app and kind of going back to the algorithm being the same, all of your favorite foods, the point value is going to be the same. So if you've favorited foods in the app or you have go-to foods that you eat, the points value of those foods will not change because again, the algorithm is remaining the same. Another really exciting thing is weekly points are staying. Now we don't have confirmation whether or not your weeklies will remain exactly the same as they are now, but we will still be getting weekly points. And you know, you know that I have said since the get go that you need to be eating your weekly points every single week, whether you spread them out over the week, eat them all in one day, eat them over the weekend, eat your weekly points. WW gives us those because we're supposed to use them. Their business, they're not going to give us weekly points if it's going to cause us to gain weight or not lose weight because why would we pay to be on their paid program if we didn't see success? So your weeklies are there for you to use. And we know, we know that no matter what plan on WW we're on, we very, 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 
very rarely eat enough calories on WW. And if you're not eating your weekly points, that is even more concerning on the amount of calories that you're eating. So eat them, use them, even eat your activity points, especially if you are very active. It is important to eat those activity points as well. They're not giving you all your activity back in points. They're giving you a portion so that you can sustain your body, rebuild your muscle, give you yourself sustained energy after a workout. So don't be scared of weekly points or activity points. Please eat them to ensure that you're eating enough and being in a healthy calorie deficit on WW. So that is the new program in a nutshell. That is everything that we know at this point, what's happening potentially mid to late November. As more information becomes available and as soon as the new plan is released, I will be doing a complete video on the new plan and I will give you updates, whether it's in a dedicated video or in a what I eat in a day or my Friday weigh-in of any new information that comes to the surface about the new plan. And of course, as always, leave any questions that you have down in the comments or if you have additional information, please leave that down in the comments. And of course, let me know what are your thoughts. Are you excited about these changes or are you one of the people that really enjoyed personal points and maybe didn't love the blue plan as much. This is not the blue plan. This is similar to the blue plan from what I can gather. Let us know down in the comments what your thoughts and feedback are. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, uh, give it a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell's turned on so you never miss a future video, especially all the updates on the new plan. And of course, check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join my Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you so much for watching, friends. I hope this helps you out, gives you a little bit of peace of mind on what What's happening and I'll see you all in tomorrow's weigh-in. Bye!